I am almost sure that this is not the best time for us creators. Why? Because of the current situation right now. Most of our clients are actually canceling or postponing their weddings or whatever um, service that you offer, they're canceling it right now. And we're not sure what's going to happen for the rest of the year or, well, let's keep our fingers crossed that maybe by um, July, June, July, everything will go back to normal. But what's going to happen if nothing goes back to normal? We're going to be in a big, let me not say it, but guess what? There's one thing that we must ensure as creators that we do. We must practice to have a wedding contract or a photography contract. Whatever business that you are in, ensure that you have a contract because this is very important as it relates to refunds for deposits. Once you make a deposit, I mean, I'm not sure in what world you normally give back a deposit well then again it depends on what your contract says but for a creator once you do photography or videography you have to ensure that you have a wedding contract that states hey after you make a deposit there are no refunds so you will not you'll be home thinking that you have to refund every client if you do not have that in your contract you're in big trouble trust me Having a wedding contract or a photography contract is very, very, very important. A situation if you're sick, if you're not able to show up to the event that you are that you actually got a deposit for, you should one, either have somebody cover that uh, event for you or two, provide a full refund because you're not able to make it. The client is always able to cancel their um event right cancel with you but once they cancel they have to know that they cannot get a refund normally if they're going to cancel uh, they should actually let's say they're going to postpone the wedding they would actually have to give you uh, well it depends on how your contract is set up but for most creator in their contract it says that you have to rebook them if you're going to be canceling or postponing your wedding for this current situation i would not actually do that well my contract does not state that once you're canceling you do not get a refund but if you make a payment that is more than the deposit amount i will just give you about that difference but i cannot give you a full refund because you've cancelled most photographers or videographers they're on demand like trust me a lot of people would like to use their service and if you're going to cancel um your event and somebody actually contact me for that date i'm back i'm basically losing business so when you're doing your wedding contract or your photography contract, whatever contract you do, try to state why you cannot provide a refund. Uh, in my contract, it's after 24 hours. I've recently updated to 48 hours. So after 48 hours, you cannot get a refund. Because if I'm to give everybody back a refund, if I'm to give all my clients a refund, my business would actually crash. I may have to just sell all my equipments because... To be honest, not all of us save. Not all of us save the money once you get it from client because most of us, we live on deposits. So it is really important that you have that in your contract. And sometimes I don't really accept more than what a deposit amount is in case of situations like these. But enough about that. This video is not about um, deposits or anything like that. Actually, I should name this video about deposits. Or maybe not but I hope that you guys are, are are doing the right thing at home make sure that you sanitize your place make sure that you don't put your hand in your face and stay home it's best to stay home right now what I'm doing I'm editing a lot of wedding videos I think I have three wedding videos I'm working on right now I don't have I do not have any photography working on right now I've finished all of those so all I'm doing right now is to edit and that's it I'm about to cook right now. I'm not going to edit this video until I'm finished. I don't remember where I stopped, but 
I just want to ensure that you guys are doing, taking the necessary precautions just to ensure that you're safe during this um, situation. I do not want them to demonetize this video, so I'm trying not to say what's really happening right now, but you guys know what's happening right now. I want you guys to stay safe and just keep your fingers crossed and hope that you will not get any cancellations or um, maybe postponing the wedding to next year. Like currently I have like one cancellation and two um, postponed weddings um, for one for next year and one for the end of this year. Um, I have a few weddings still. No one has sent me an email so fingers crossed. Hopefully I don't get a cancellation but I mean it's going to happen it's going to happen anyway guys tell me what you're doing right now during this situation and um if you're worrying about getting cancellations or not getting bookings um like what are you doing thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for another video on friday bye bye